So today, good news, bad news. Guy came and looked at uh, what is going on with the septic. And he said it's really good. So we'll continue on with that game plan. One of the questions I had was what to do with the dirt. And he says you're supposed to fill it up. Just leave the top showing and then it'll be okay just to put the rest in piles. So as I dig this one out, I'll be throwing dirt onto that one. And on going down the line. So yeah, we'll figure out what to do with some of the dirt. And bad news is the well got put in. And it's a low producing well, this area out here. It's a beautiful area to live. The Olympics are right over that way. Um, but it's hard to get water out here. So anyways, it's a low producing well. It does have water. Problem is I'm gonna have to put in a storage tank and feed off of a storage tank, which you know, that's just what you do, evidently. That's the game plan, so we'll be updating with that. <clears throat> Rather than keep drilling, which is, you know, thousands of dollars, so evidently they came up against rock and made the call to stop and see how much water was there, and that's how much was there. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. So I gotta figure out if I wanna bury a tank in the ground, build a freaking um, building, you know, pump house building, which is heated, insulated, so don't freeze above ground. Anyway, all kinds of options. So it's coming up next. And then move onward with this. Here's the next phase. <clears throat> Walking in, what they call walking in <clears throat> the uh, upper. As I dig the one below it, <clears throat> and I kind of dig out the lines going to the D box at the same time. And I kind of want to leave these ports openings are a good place to measure the inspector wants to see so I'll leave those um, open from the dirt <coughs> and there we go moving on tomorrow morning the tank should be here because it's septic. So, moving right along. So, here we go. I wasn't going to continue this on for the video, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. I skipped out on a bunch of uh, progress, so. There's a drain field all installed. Backfilled. And hopefully getting ready to grow some grass on it. Up here, my latest attempt for drainage. And I got a pump house built. Beyond the uh, tank there is a cover for the distribution box. And that's all hooked up over there. So 
So now what I'm up to, I'm going to try and get some grass to grow <clears throat> out here. And got a pump house built. And there's a low producing well, which is two gallons a minute. It's just a bad place to get water out here, evidently. <clears throat> so now it's time for storage tank. which is this big old thing, 1,500 gallon tank. And so there's gonna be more videos showing, finishing off this pump house, trim, lap siding, some kind of shingle gable and uh you know that'll be trimmed and painted the same as the house which will be right there someday and i got this sloped off a little bit better and i've been out here playing in the mud in the water getting this to drain i'll get this all sloped off proper back here and this is kind of a natural drain. This is a seasonal runoff right here. Comes down off top of that hill right there. And then it rains really hard in the winter. It kind of runs right there. So yeah, you'll see videos of me digging ditches right here. And we got wiring. Got to hook up to this pump and I'll go in and out of my water right here and I'll loop around this pump house put a hydrant right here somewheres and have it stemmed out ready to um, continue on to the house over there but for now, we'll just do the uh, hydrant. And then anything inside will be like a drain set up in here. I gotta figure out all kinds of stuff. So there's gonna be the well pump pumping into this tank here. And then um, a reserve pump and jet pump take drawn out of this tank into a pressure tank and that will go into the home <clears throat> so a couple different things going on I got to dig ditches and get power in here put up a box and get a light and some outlets Couple things to finish up. I've got to put the gable vents in there. I've got to tie up the rafters down. I built all that stuff. Simple design rafter for a 12 foot span. And what else do I got going on in here? You know, who knows? We're probably going to insulate it later on down the road, but this will be good for now. Clean all this up. Position this tank, put the pressure tank in there, and the temporary power pole is going to go right over here somewhere. Get ready for the house to be built. Yes. So today, since I got all my, uh, I got seed laid down in here, and I got it to where it's going to drain pretty good, because it's starting to rain now. So we'll get some grass to grow. I'm going to put the door on here and just get some trim going. Get the trim ready, and that way it kind of helps hold the um, tie back on there.
Yep, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and film the completion of this thing. So I'll publish the first one that I made and then I'll do this one here right behind it. So, I gotta show this right here. Because kind of a knucklehead. This is my granddaughter who's going to live here. This is her handprint. And she's almost three years old. And then here's my handprint. And guess what? The door goes right there. So, it's lovely. It gets covered up. So I thought I'd just put that on film. And she can see this. There's Papa's handprint. And there's your handprint. But it's going to be covered up. But it'll be there. Time for a little update. And, hmm. Hard to remember what was done compared to what's done now, but I'm pretty much ready for power. I got a ditch dug from the transformer up there. And I'm going to put temporary power right there. The house is going to sit right there. I took some time and um, did a better grade on this drainage ditch. So the water drains down around the property around the build site right here and i'll come over here put some straw down to get rid of the mud and then planted some seed the straw is already growing pretty tall and i'm finally getting some grass to sprout up on this hillside get grass growing green again and then it drains off down the back here and it's been raining a lot so this little system works good all this crap right here is from where they dug the well so there's really nothing even there's no uh mud or silt or anything it's all working pretty good right here I've got it dug out for my water to go in and out of course I'm going to have one line coming from my well into that black pipe and I got that sticking up through the floor and then it'll go through the storage tank through the jet pump through the pressure tank and then back out around this corner here and I'm going to put a hydrant right beside the pump house and then I'll leave it stubbed out and ready to go on over to the house that'll feed the home I like to have a hydrant right off the well pump because it gets full on volume. When you run it through the home, it always gets neck down. It gets um, throttled down a little bit for um, you know efficiency. So you never get the full on volume from a hose coming out of the house compared to what you do right from the pump. Here's the pump house. I've got this all done. Got the trim up. Ready to put the siding on. I'm gonna put um, some kind of shakes up there on the gable. And then lap siding. 
So I've been trying to figure crap out and make sure it's all proper. Back when I uh, did any building, never did use any house wrap, any of that stuff. So figuring out all this code, up to date, new stuff, you know, it all makes sense. And it's nice to have it watertight. So using the proper flashing and the tape with the Tyvek wrap. And I'm going to use some of this felt in between the seams on the uh, lap siding they recommend. And inside here we've got pressure tank, got the big pump tank, uh, reserve tank. And that's going to go up tighter a little up against the wall over there. And I think I'm going to have room for the pressure tank and the pump back in there. This thing is all done. I got the board going across the top, tying the rafters. Uh, I got the hurricane braces on there holding the rafters down. The vent stuck up in there, doors installed, and all said and done, once we get the electricity and everything plumbed, probably better insulate this thing and put some sheetrock on it. I've been filling up the... Um, Septic tank over there, little by little. Trying to make sure that thing gets full of water so it doesn't pop out of the ground um, for the rainy season. Plans are almost done. So in the permit package, so I'm about ready to submit that. Yeah, a lot going on. But it is getting done little by little. Pretty soon, I'm going to have water, power, and sewer. So, guess what? I hit the phone line. So now, everybody will get to see what it's like to splice a phone cable. And, I don't know, I may call them up and have them uh, come up here and fix it and then just tee off of here and run a phone line down the, down the ditch and then that way they got telephone, so. Huh. Maybe a good thing. So, yeah, either way. Kind of funny. Kind of not funny. But that's how I roll, so one step forward and two steps back, right? Okay, okay.